welcome back to my channel by the way my name is kwok and i live in taipei and i'm working there right now but i'm back in hong kong to see my family and see my friends currently i'm working from home so i thought i would share with you guys some of my best productivity tips while i spend a nice productive and fun couple of days in hong kong first thing that i usually like to do in the morning is go to the gym even if it's not an intense workout i like to just get my body moving get the blood flowing With my laptop in. Let's go. Today I'm actually gonna be working from the Hong Kong peak. Why? I don't know. I just thought it's a beautiful day. It hasn't been sunny since I arrived. Oh, it's so warm today. I'm actually about to get on the peak chair. I'm at the steepest possible point. <laughs> God, look at My favorite way of pushing myself into productivity is to just get out of the house and go somewhere new. So today it was going to the peak, but usually it's just going to a cafe and getting a change of scene. Today I'm also using one of my favorite focus apps called Forest. Basically it helps you stay away from your phone for the set time, and if you touch your phone, then your tree's gonna die. So I'm just planting a 25 minute tree to get some of my first tasks done. I'm taking a little break after my meeting and I'm in the sort of square of the peak. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think I have the mental power to like sit down for three hours and just do one thing. Of course the break will involve food. I had never done this before, but I wanted to spend the rest of the afternoon working outdoors. So I just settled down on any bench that I could find and finished my afternoon's work. And that wraps up my first very productive and pretty adventurous day. Welcome to this little montage of the next couple of days. I just explored new cafes, finished my work, repeated. So we're on the other side of Hong Kong today because I thought, why not have a change of scene? I had five meetings this morning, so I am completely Zoom fatigue out. That is so good. Welcome to the Hong Kong Arts and Cultural Center. Right outside, there's my favorite ice cream truck. I'm gonna see if there's a spot I can settle down with my laptop and do of my work. So actually this time I did not get milk tea. Instead I got the brown sugar fresh milk. This afternoon I'm actually making a marketing plan for one of our new apps. We're gonna do that. I finished my work day. We're gonna go watch the sunset. What? That's so pretty. When I was in Paris and in Oxford, there was nothing I missed more than being near the sea for some reason. So it's definitely a perfect way to end off today. I'm just gonna enjoy this view and go to dinner with my family later. We previously went through one of the most difficult taxi rides of a lifetime. Everyone was hiking from the bottom of this <laughs> trail and we were just gonna taxi all the way out. <laughs> yeah. the starting point. 
I think the issue with productivity culture, especially on YouTube, is that we only portray the side of ourselves that's working, giving an unrealistic expectation for other people on what they should be achieving with their time. A lot of us are so obsessed with achieving more, optimizing our work lives, and becoming more efficient that the pursuit becomes an end in itself. But I think the true purpose of productivity is if we're more efficient, we can spend less time working and more time doing the things that really matter to us. So to you watching, don't put too much pressure on yourself. And I urge you to think about what you're going to do today to free up time for the things that really matter to you.